Queen Emma Arryn tells her husband, King Viserys, that the daughter Rhaenyra has picked a dragon egg that reminds her of Vagar for her unborn sibling, who she hopes will be a girl named Visenya. In conversation with Lady Lena Velaryon, Viserys tells her that Vagar has not been seen for some time, but that the dragon keepers believed she had made her nest along the coast of the Narrow Sea. By this time, Vihagar's size was such that she was too large to remain in the dragon pit. Lena says that traders in Spice Down on her native Driftmark claim to hear her song at times, and that it sounds sad. Viserys muses that even dragons can get lonely. More than a decade later, Vagar is the mount of Lena herself. Lena takes great pride in riding the largest known living dragon in the world, riding alongside her husband Demon and his own dragon Caraxes. Sometime later, Lena suffers a difficult birth, with everyone believing the child must be cut out of her to survive. Unwilling to die in bed, she stumbles outside to find Vagar, before giving the command, Dracarys. Vagar hesitates, unwilling to burn her rider despite her repeated pained commands. Eventually, she complies and unleashes her dragonfire, incinerating Lena to prevent a more drawn-out and painful death. Days later, as she sleeps on the beach of high tide, Vagar is awakened by Aemon Targaryen, who desires to ride a dragon. She initially ignores his attempt to mount her and goes back to sleep, but when Aemon tries again, Vagar nearly unleashes her dragonfire on him but is successfully commanded by Aemon in High Valyrian. Having now claimed and bonded with her, Aemon takes her for a first flight, though he nearly falls to his death having not properly fastened himself to the saddle, he is able to fly her around Driftmark. Later, during the royal family's return to King's Landing, Aemond rides Vagar home.